Welcome to Lingua Latina Tutorials with Mr. K. This is chapter 39, lesson 1. Here we have a picture of the winds and what direction they come from into the, um, the Tuscan or the uh, Tyrrhenian Sea here, Mare Inferum. Uh, we have the north wind, which is Aquilo, the east wind, which is Iurus, the south wind, which is called either Auster or Notus. We have the south west wind which is africus coming from africa and then the west wind the pleasant wind of the west which is favonius or zepirus and then we also have the cardinal directions the no the north which is septentriones east oriens south meridies and west occidens and winti means winds and that's what we have the picture of so let's uh follow along while Please follow along while I read aloud. Cartago, you know. Urbs antico fuit Cartago in ora Africae contra Italiam sita, diwes atque bellicosa. Hanc urbem, you know magis aleis omnibus dilexis dicitur, hoc regnum omnium gentium esse volebat, sed audivarat genus a Troiano sanguine ortum, olim arcem cartagenes expugnaturum esse. Id metuens et memor veteris belli quod ad Troiam procaris argis geserat, nondum obliterat causam irae et ac doloris, judicium paredis, qui venerem deam pucerimam esse judicaverat. Troianos per maritotum jactatos longe a latio arcebat. Itaque fatis ac timultos yamanos circum omnia maria erabant. Okay, so here we have a section titled Juno. Uh, so here we have Urbs Antiqua Fuit. There was, there used to be an ancient city, Carthage, on the shore of Africa. Opos uh, situated opposite Italy, situated against or on the opposite side, away from Italy. The city rich and warlike. Uh, this city, Juno, more than all the others, is said to have loved. So Juno is said to have loved this city more than any other. And she wanted this kingdom to be the, this to be the kingdom or the empire of all the peoples of the world, omnium gentium, said, but she had heard that a people from Troy, from Trojan blood, arisen from Trojan blood, so Ortum goes with Genus, but she had heard that a tribe arisen from Trojan blood at one time was going to uh, conquer, expugnaturum, the citadel or the power of Carthage. And so expugnaturum in esse is our future infinitive, uh, and it comes in indirect speech after she had heard. She had heard that, and our subject accusative, that a tribe would destroy. Expugnaturum esse. Id metuens, this is referring to Juno, fearing that, fearing that, the, that Carthage is going to be destroyed, and Mamor, mindful of the ancient war which she had waged, Gesserat, against Troy on behalf of, pro her dear Greeks, Caris Argis. Uh, and then here we have just a parenthetical. Not, she had not yet forgotten the cause of her anger and of her pain, namely the judgment of Paris, who had decided that Venus was the most beautiful goddess. So what was she doing because of this? She was driving away Archaebot, the Trojans, through the entire the entire sea, through the entire ocean, uh, thrown about Yactatos far from Latium, Longa Latio. Itaque, and so uh, this is referring to the Trojanos, the Trojani, the Trojans, and so the Trojans, driven by the fates, now for many years are accusative of duration of time, multos annos, for many years were wandering around around Kirkum every sea, omnia maria, literally around all the seas.